The extinctions at the end of the Ice Age was the biggest extinction event that happened on Earth since the dinosaurs went extinct. I'm Emily Lindsay, Assistant Curator and Excavation Site Director at La Brea Tar Pits. This is a site that has tens of thousands of years leading up to that event, captures the extinction event, and then also captures what the ecosystem looked like after most of the large mammals disappeared. That event is captured right here at La Brea Tar Pits. So for most of the last 50 million years, pretty much every ice-free continent on Earth looked a lot like Africa in that there were a lot of large mammals all over the place. Somewhere between about 10 and 20,000 years ago, most of the large mammals everywhere except Africa went extinct. And the reason for these extinctions has been the subject of intense debate for the last 70 years. And the problem has been that nobody has been able to determine exactly when most of these megafauna actually disappeared because the fossil record is really spotty. So the Liberia Tar Pits is unique because it's the only site where you get thousands of individuals of particular species that can be studied, uh, both in terms of what they looked like, but also in terms of the chemistry in their bones. So all of these fossils are jaw bones of animals that we dated for this project. Because the asphalt preserves bones so well, we were able to take little pieces of these bones and radiocarbon date them. This allows us to find out exactly when each of these animals died, but it also allows us to study questions like what they ate, what the climate was like that they were living in, and even whether or not they were migrating. Of the more than five million fossils that we have found so far at La Brea Tar Pits, these are four of the most important. So what these are, are the jaw bones of the very last saber-toothed cat, the very last direwolf, the very last western horse, and the very last ancient bison in North America. And these are the youngest ones, not only at our site, but it turns out anywhere on the North American continent. And so as we're trying to make inferences, you know, about some of the biggest questions in conservation biology today, which are, you know, what are going to be the long-term impacts of climate changes? What are the impacts of human landscape change? And what are the impacts on ecosystems of what we call now defaunation or the loss of large-bodied animals from ecosystems? At the point where we found human population to really start to dramatically increase in North America, we see this incredibly intense period of fires happening right here. And it's right in this interval when all of the megafauna species disappear. We are pretty much the only place on Earth that has the data necessary to really look at what happened the last time we went through a significant climate change interval. And so understanding why these fires happened in the past and the impacts that they had on ecosystems is going to be able to help land managers and planners today to make decisions about how we can best preserve species, how we can best protect human property and human life, and how we can help our current human-dominated landscape transition into this new climate that we are entering.